Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ala and I'm glad to have you back. Um, today I was just going to do a cool toned eye look so I can try out this new Ravi Beauty um, lipstick, the Effortless Lips. So I wanted to kind of work everything around the, the lipstick in the shade Tulip. So I'm going to get started with using the Merit Great Skin first as primer. <clears throat> and uh, I did get to try the lipstick yesterday and I wanted to, of course, try it on, on camera and show it with an actual look. I, I wore it just on its own and it's definitely possible to wear it on its own and that's unique for for a lipstick <laughs> and then I'll go in with um, this it's almost gone so I'm just going to go like this I'm gonna have to um, get one of those little spatulas so I can get what's left of it there's not much in there so for now this will be fine just going to quickly do the base and then do like a, a cool tone eyeshadow look and then we'll get to the lipstick Then I'm going to use the um, Air Perez concealer. It's so serum-y in the jar that, I mean, you can use a brush, but I feel like it, it feels like, like a lotion or a cream. So it almost just makes more sense to apply it initially with your hand and then and then you can use a, a tool all right i'm gonna blend that in really quick Then I'll set it with, with this mini Laura Mercier translucent powder. There we go. I'm going to just get like a bigger brush and then just kind of work it into the whole brush and just tap it all over. All right, then um, <clears throat> I'm going to use the, the House Labs bronzer. I really like this color. Quite a bit. It looks so pretty and so natural. Like it looks like kind of like a contour and a bronzer. Like after the bronzer, like you get sunburned and then it settles into into like a tan. That that's what this reminds me of. It just kind of adds a really pretty shape and form to your face. A little. Okay. 
Just that alone is so pretty. <clears throat> and then, um, I was gonna go in with this earlier, but I guess I could just do it now. I'll do a little bit of this. I'm just trying to use it up. But this um, Lila B. And then I was going to use this Rose Ink Delphine. I wanted to keep things neutral just to keep the focus on the lips. And even though this is like a peachy color, um, it could also be just a neutral Almost like you're not wearing anything, but you kind of are. Okay. Let's do that. And then, um, I was, for the eyes, I was just going to do <clears throat> um, just like a, I think I was going to use this, this color here after, I think I might use one of those shades as like a neutral so we'll we'll just see might try okay so i might try going in with the darker shade just to start there add that there and i use since it's a pretty bold um color you have to be pretty light-handed with it because these colors definitely pack a punch and I don't want to overdo it. I'm not trying to create the, a deep, like smoky look, just a shadow, just a light depth. <clears throat> yeah, that's really pretty, just kind of blends itself out. And then um, I might just do that same shadow under the eyes. And then just kind of and then just blend it out. That's already really pretty. And then I was gonna use this, almost like a gray, this gray brown shimmer. And I'm not gonna make it too, too shimmery. So I'm just using the brush. I'm not using my finger to make it more intense. This is like a soft glam look. Again, I like to focus on like, what's wearable on the day-to-day -day. and since I love wearing color all the time on my face then what doesn't make me stick out like a sore thumb in a small town there we go so yeah that that looks really good so far and then I might just pop in some of the lightest shade for the inner corner there. If you kind of bring it out a little, it almost has like this fairy eye look. It's really pretty. All right. And then I usually like to use an eyeliner. I'll just use this liquid liner. Okay. Like that and I'll do 
some mascara next. My, okay. This is getting hard to open. There we go, and then I'll do a quick um, eyebrow pencil, just kind of brush them up. That, and this is that same Nature Republic brow pencil. It just, it, it's waxy, and boy, I've had it for so many years. I don't know how it never, ever runs out. I don't, I don't know how that works, but it's amazing. <laughs> there, just kind of shade it in and, and then to kind of brush it out again, kind of creates a natural little shadow underneath like that. Okay, so there, it, there's that. And um, so I was going to show you now the Ravi lipstick and it's this small little <laughs> box and here's the component and it says tulip right there and I like the idea that it was buildable now just to give you an idea of like a regular sized <clears throat> lipstick this is what this looks like so I think that's really nice I kind of like the the slender package and then when you open it up here's the the color that looks so pretty definitely goes well with I feel like my cooler tone um, skin tone so let's try it on and since I don't have a very defined um, lip line I definitely need to use some lip liner so I'm just gonna go in with this um, what is it the KVD um, everlasting this is in bow and arrow Okay, just a little, just to kind of define the edges. And I don't, I don't color it in because I like to see what the, what this will look like. So now we'll try this. I'll do an arm swatch so you can kind of see what that looks like. Okay, so that's like, I mean, I swiped it a few times, but it wasn't like, I didn't push really hard. And then you can build it up too, like that. So I like the idea of swiping it once and using it as just a, a pop of color to bring life to your face. I like that one. When Allie Blinds was talking about it. So that's just with one color. So you can use it as a lip balm. That's kind of what it feels like. Is just like a chapstick and you kind of forget that it's there which is not bad at all I really like that and then if you want to build it up I'll do that and we can see that's so pretty and it has definitely the smoothest texture it, it definitely feels like a juicier lip balm is the way that I would describe it because it doesn't it certainly doesn't feel like a lipstick and it doesn't feel like a gloss it just has like that 
kind of juicy lip like chapstick <laughs> which is nice so that's the whole look and I hope you liked it and please subscribe if you're if you're new here and if you like the content these are mostly just unedited videos and um hope to see you in the next video have a good day bye